So you're going to look at here, 22, 23. So originally, that's the same schedule from 8 to 16. Okay. But what we do, 22 to 23 here, So that is this week, right? So that means we need to finish acid base today. And the next meeting, we need to finish solubility. Part three, part one and two. Dapat pala, tapos na tayo sa part one and two last time. Okay, but remember, uh, we were delayed because of the thing. So let's see what we can do. Okay. So today, if you're going to look at the acids and base here, I'm going to need your help. I cannot do it alone. So I leave you on your own to watch the videos that is mentioned here. Okay, so if you're going to look at it, so kita niyo yung video, not that one. <laughs> this one. So the nature of acids and bases, and then water and pH. We will have a thing like that. But uh, in addition to what I'm going to talk about, uh, I want you to look at the material that we have here. Because what I'm going to do on my side is I'm going to some sort of simplify what uh, we're going to talk about here, okay? So we will see what uh, what will happen, okay? Because. The way that we're going to do it by, by the end of the day today, you, you know what the weak acid, strong acid, strong basis, some sort of that. Okay, so uh, I'm still awaiting for the availability of your, what we call exam. So once, they gave me the signal to make it available. I'm going to make it available. Wala pa kasi go signal eh. You know, I'm always waiting for whatever they said. If this is ready, then that's the only time I will make it available. Okay? I'm trying to look at my materials. Okay. So let's start. The nature and acid and bases. So we start with the definition of acids 
Okay, so when we're talking about acids, usually ano masasabi natin sa acid? Okay, they always have a sour taste. Lagi silang ma ano ba tawag natin? Ano yung sour? Maasim, right? Yung mukhasim, dato puti. So, vinegar owes its taste to acetic acid. Uh, the citrus fruit contains the citric acid. And most of the acid, they will react with certain metals to produce hydrogen gas. The only one that don't react are the so-called noble metals like gold, silver, and platinum. That's why one way to test if you have uh, pure gold in your jewelry is to dip it in uh, vinegar or uh, citrus uh, fruits with juices. And if ever there will be no reaction, then you could say it's pure gold. If there's a reaction, then you may say that uh, your, your, your vinegar is the one that is fake because it reacts with the uh, metal, but it's really the metal is not made up of pure gold. And whenever you ask it, it produces carbonates and bicarbonates. Okay, when uh, uh, produce carbon dioxide, it's the uh, volcano reaction when you have the baking soda and vinegar being one. Now, bases on the other hand, they have a bitter taste, they have a slippery feeling, and most of the bases that we have are what we call the cleaning materials that we utilize. Now, here are some of the definition of an acid, uh, uh, and, and what we call a base, okay? So there are what we call three definitions of the acid. One is the one being poured, bo both poured by uh, Arrhenius, okay? Ah, hindi ba nakikita yung ano? Sorry. Kita na? Okay, so when you say Arrhenius acid, it's the one that produces uh, what we call H plus or H3O plus. So H3O plus is just H plus plus H2O, okay, in uh, what we call water. Now, the Bronsted uh, lorry, ang definition ng acid is a proton donor. And then a Lewis acid is defined as a substance that can accept a pair of electrons, so electron pair acceptor. Now, if we're going to look at the counterpart that we have of this, what we call Arrhenius base, that is what? A substance that produces hydroxide in water. Now, because it just produces hydroxide, it limits the bases to those hydroxide containing compounds. So bronsted lorry expanded the definition. So the Bronsted base on the other hand is a proton acceptor, okay? So as Isbante Arrhenius, when he presented the concept of acid base, it's just part of his dissertation. And the committee doesn't understand what he's talking about okay, and give him just a passing grade. But 20 years later, he got the Nobel Prize winner for the concept of these uh, are what we call ions that form in solution, which is acid and bases. Now, Lewis acid is this the one from Gilbert Lewis. So since you have this electron dot, so Lewis acid, uh, what we call, define it as a substance that accept electron pair acceptor while basis electron pair donor. So if you're going to look at the definition of this uh, Lewis base, ganito yung nangyayari sa kanya. Okay, so you see there the presence of the electron pair. And usually, since my electron pair ka, okay, it going to what we call, if you're a base, it will donate the uh, pair of electron. If you're an acid, it will accept the electron pair. So yan yung definition niya. But we're going to focus on the uh, uh, bronze acid uh, definition, okay? So remember, one of the outcome that we have there is describe the acid bases using Bronsted uh, lorry definition. So sometimes they use it Bronsted, sometimes they use Bronsted lorry because there, there, there are two persons there. So Johannes Bronsted and Thomas Lorry. One is uh, from Denmark and one is from the what we call uh, England. Okay. So in the Bronsted Lorry uh, acid definition, usually the concept that they have here is the so-called conjugate acid-base pair. 
Okay. So when you have a conjugate acid base pair, ibig sabihin yung acid base reaction dyan is just hydrogen transfer. Hydrogen being your what? Proton. So one who donate proton and the other one who accept the proton. And if we have a definition of this one, so for instance, we have here ammonia reacting with water to produce ammonium and hydroxide ion, you should be able to determine which one is the acid, which one is the base. So ano acid dito? Sino yung donate ng hydrogen or ng proton? Water. Okay, so water. Now you might ask yourself, how do we know? So if you're going to look at the product, you will see which one lost hydrogen and which one gained hydrogen. So here, okay, if you're going to look at here, from H2O, it now becomes hydroxide. So we could say that is the acid, okay? Now, ammonia on the other hand, from NH3, it gains hydrogen. So that now becomes the base. So, the acid here that lost electron forms hydroxide. This is now your base, okay? And the acid here uh, that gains from NH4 plus, uh, NH3 gaining H plus, it's now your acid. But if you're going to look at this, the way that you're going to determine which is the acid and base here is if you're going to react the reaction in the reverse direction. So between these two, which one lost hydrogen and which one gained hydrogen? So this acts as a base because it's going to accept the hydrogen from ammonium ion. And the ammonium ion will lose the hydrogen that's after the acid. So if you're going to look at this one, the partnership that they have, OH minus is just the conjugate base of H2O. And ammonium ion is the conjugate acid. How do you deeper them? How do you know if it's a conjugate yeah, acid or conjugate base? So all you need to do is what? Plus or minus? I know. Hydrogen. Okay. So whenever you have a, a conjugate acid, it should have one more or plus one hydrogen compared to the original one. And you have a conjugate base that is one less hydrogen. Because the question that you may ask, which, of, which is the conjugate acid or which is the conjugate base? of the following, okay? So yan yung uh, common definition ng acids and base. Among the three definitions, ito yung parang ang daming application. Okay? Because it covers everything. Hindi gaya ng acid uh, based by uh, Arrhenius, it limits the hydroxide, or di kaya yung Lewis acid base pair, it only uh, applicable doon sa mga electron pair. Now, Let's look at the, what we call acid-based property of water. So tapos sa tayo 7.1. Bilis, di ba? <laughs> so, I'm just following uh, what we call, if you're going to look at the thing here. So I'm just following this module. So we already have the nature of acid and base. Okay, but I still want you to what we could look at, watch the video here. Okay. So you, you might ask here, can a system attain equilibrium if only the products are present in the beginning of the react, reaction? And what is the difference between a conjugate pair? Okay, so I hope what, what, what we're discussing it, okay, uh, you're able to answer those questions. Kasi yun yung parang guide question nyo. Okay? So, where's that the one? So, if you're going to look at it before we go further, so as you could see here, this acid and base that form here, it can go to the reverse reaction. Okay? Mag magkakaroon siya ng uh, what we call uh, <clears throat> reverse reaction. It will not only happen if you have what? A strong acid and a strong base, which we are going to learn as we go on. Okay? 
So there's always an equilibrium in an acid-base reaction because usually once you form the product, what will happen is the presence of the products may force the reaction to go to the opposite direction, especially if it's a weak acid. Okay. Now, let's look at the unique property of water. Okay. So water is what they call a the universal solvent. And it's a unique solvent. It can act. What makes it unique? It can act as an acid and a base. Okay, so if you have water reacting with another water, so one of them can have this two phase form. One uh, donating a hydrogen, while the other one accepting a hydrogen. So one would act as an acid, okay, producing the hydroxide, which is the conjugate base, and the other one would act as a base, producing the conjugate acid, okay? Now the reaction that we have here, as you're going to look at what? Reversible, okay? So you can have it like this one, the auto-ionization, one water molecule uh, uh, ionizing to form H plus and a hydroxide, or two water molecules to form hyd uh, hydronium ion and hydroxide. Now, if you're going to look at the equilibrium of this, okay, there is, an expression that you can uh, uh, use for this one. So you have H2O liquid to producing H plus and OH minus. Now, as you could see, water is what? If you're going to look at the water, is constant. So what have we learned from equilibrium last time? By the brain liquid, isama sa expression. Hello. Hello. Nandiyan pa ba kayo? Kung hindi kayo sasagot, yeah, tatapusin ko na yung lasyon. Manood na lang kayo ng recorded. <laughs> no, you're defeating the purposes why we have a synchronous class. Hindi porket uh, i-record -re natin to, eh, hindi na kayo makikinig. Hindi na nga kayo nanonood ng recorded lecture tapos hindi pa kayo magpa-participate sa synchronous class. Tapos pag hindi maganda yung performance niya sa klase, ako pa rin sisisihin nyo. <laughs> okay? So, in this course of the thing, as what you learn uh, from the chemical equilibrium, you don't include a liquid. So, your water there is what we call the constant. So what you really have in the expression there is Kc producing H plus and OH minus. And there's a form, a special form of K. That's what we call Kw. Kw is the ion product constant of the molar concentration of H plus and OH minus at a particular temperature. And usually, 25 degrees Celsius, the Kw value is 1 times 10 to the negative 14. At yung ratio or yung amount ng H plus sa OH minus, okay, uh, you can tell whenever one of the ion is present in greater amount, the nature of the solution. If they're equal, that's a neutral. If the H plus is more than the hydroxide, that is what? Acidic. And if the H plus is less than the hydroxide, we could say that is what we call a basic. And we can have some simple calculation here, like what is the hydrogen of the hydroxide ion in an HCl solution whose hydrogen concentration is 1.3 molar? So paano natin aanuhin yan? So Kw is equals to H plus times OH minus. And then what do we have? We have the concentration, one, uh, the, the amount 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. And this one is what? 1.3. And this one is, you don't know. Right? So all you need to divide by both sides by 1.3. So ano yung sagot natin? Anyone? Hello? Eight times ten is the negative fifteen point. How much? Eight by uh, eight 
times ten raised to no, negative fifteen. You, you need to follow the significant figure. Eight point zero four. Eight point zero ba? Seven point seven times ten raised to negative fifteen. Yeah. I think that's that's a uh, what we call a more specific value. It's not eight. Okay. So there's two significant figures there, so your final answer should also be in two significant figures. Now, the good thing about this uh, water, kita nyo, yung, yung 7.2, is water and pH. It gives us information with regards to the so-called pH. Okay? And pH is just what? The power of hydrogen, a measure of acidity. And pH is a concept that tells us whether you have what? Acidic, basic, or neutral solution. And pH is just defined as negative log of H plus. So they said the solution is neutral. The, 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 the H plus is equal to the uh, hydroxide concentration. And the H plus is around 1 times 10 to the negative 7. If giving you a pH of 7, if it's acidic, there's more H plus than hydroxide, and the H plus is more than one times 10 to the negative seven, and the pH is less than seven, okay? And it's basic, the H plus is less than the hydroxide, and the H plus is less than one times 10 to the negative seven, and the pH is more than seven. So the relationship of pH with H plus is, we could say, a CISO relationship, right? Gets new? If the pH go up, the H plus go down. If the H plus go up, the pH go down. Okay? And we can get other information with regards to this relationship. So remember, meron tayong pH, meron tayong OH minus. So what if yung negative lag natin ay OH minus, hindi H plus? Ano yung tawag natin ngayon doon? So, ang tawag natin ngayon doon ay yung POH. POH is equal to negative log of OH minus. Okay? And we all know H plus times OH minus is equal to KW. So, if, we, if we're going to express everything in what? Negative log like that. So, ito 14 agad. Tapos ito negative log H plus ito negative log OH minus. So negative log H plus is what? pH. Negative log OH minus is POH. So the sum of the two is equals to 14. So whenever you're given either the pH, the POH, you can get the concentration of the H plus, the concentration of the hydroxide, and other stuff. Now, ano naman? Kapag ang binibigay sa iyo eh H+. Plus, how do you get the pH? Or if the one given to you is the hydroxide, how do you get the pOH? So the relationship is what? H+ plus is equals to 10 raised to the negative pH. So pag given sa iyo is pH and you are asked for the H+, plus, ito yung expression. So if you are asked for the OH minus, then it's raised, 10 raised to the negative POH. Now to give you an idea of the pH value around us, here. So what can you say? Lahat ng kinakain natin, ano? Ano yung lahat ng kinakain natin? Acidic po. Acidic. Kaya kapag marami kang nakain, ano meron? Empacho, di ba? <laughs> Kasi US tawag din heartburn, heartburn. Sometimes it results to hyperacidity. And if you have a lot of that, you have to take antacid to neutralize too much acidity. And lahat ng mga ano, high pH, that is what we call uh, basic 
Yung tears pala, 7.4, no? So, medyo basic siya, di ba? Kapag basic, ang tawag natin, mapait, di ba? So, minsan pag umiiyak ka, kasi may nakaranas kang mapait, nakaranas ka, di ba? So, question so far. So, if you're going to look at the self-assessment question there, okay? So, ano yung tinatawag na concentration of, what is the concentration of hydronium and hydroxide ions of water at 25 degrees Celsius? So, they're equal. 1 times 10 to the negative 7. And another thing that I can ask, uh, I can tell you is since both water and, uh, can act as an acid and a base, ang tawag dun is amphiprotic. Amphiprotic, it can act both uh, either as an acid or a base or amphiprotic, amphoteric is the other term that is similar to that. Question. Now we can have Uh, the pH of water here. So, paano natin sasagutin to? Sige nga. There are two, two questions here. So, I want you to work on it. Okay, I'll give you a minute. Wala ako tubig. <clears throat> Ah, oh, ready now? So, here, paano natin na ano ito? This one, right? So, all we need to do is 10 raised to negative 4.82 and that is equals to what? Ano yung value na yun? 1.5 times 10 raised to the negative 5 po. So 1.5 times 10 to the negative 5. Now, if you follow the, anong tawag dito, uh, significant figures dito, sa pH, ang significant figures ay yung after the decimal. So kapag dalawa yung significant figures doon, your final answer mo dito, dalawa. Okay? Now how about this one? You have a hydroxide concentration of a blood sample that is 2.5. So anong pwede natin kunin dyan una? POH, di ba? Kasi negative log of OH dyan eh. Okay? And if we're going to what we could get this, this is equals to what? So dito naman, dalawa yung significant figures dito. So yung pH mo, dapat may dalawang uh, digits after the decimal. So we have POH plus pH equals to 14. So this is just 14 minus 6.60 to get the pH. So you will have 7.4. So ano, kayang-kaya pag ganito? 
This is the easy one. The question. Now let's go now doon sa nature na tinatawag nating strong acid, strong base, weak acid, weak base. And if you're going to look at the additional thing doon sa syllabus or sa module, meron kayong discussion nito. So you have to understand the concept of a strong electrolyte. So when you say strong electrolyte, it undergo 100% dissociation. So if you have a soluble salt, when you put salt in water, they will separate as a cation and an anion. Yeah, so yun yung tinatawag na strong electrolyte. Now, there are some electrolyte, when you put in water only a certain percentage dissociated. So ang tawag sa kanya, weak. At kasama dito yung tinatawag nating weak acid. Okay? Now, ano yung naman tawag doon sa compound na pag nilagay mo sa water, hindi nag-dissociate? Anyone? Gaya ng sugar. Okay? Yun yung tinatawag na non-electrolyte. I didn't include that one because your acids and bases are either a strong electrolyte or weak electrolyte. Okay? So if we're talking about strong acids, they are one that undergo 100% dissociation. And the technique here is you only know the strong acids, and if they're not in the list, they are weak. Okay? So there are uh, what we call six, but in some books, they list it as seven. Four are binary, and the rest are oxo acid. So you will know what's a binary and an oxo later on. So the ones are binary, aside from HCl, you have what? HBr. And HI. Now, if you have a strong acid, as you could see from the reaction, it is, as the name of the bond, one direction. It happens because there's complete dissociation. So for strong acid, there is remote chance that the reaction will be reversible. Talagang one direction. Okay? So the strong acid that you have, HBr, HI, HCl, nitric, HClO4 and sulfuric. Now, HClO, in addition to HClO4, the next one that you have there, HClO3, in some book, they said it's a strong acid. So anything that's not in the list here are considered weak. So again, class, ang definition ng strong acid are what? They undergo 100% dissociation. Para siyang ionic compound. Okay? Para siyang salt. Now, weak acid, on the other hand, if you're going to look at the double direction arrow, it is what? Reversible. Now, weak acid, when you put it in solution, the main species, the major species that you have in the solution is still the weak acid, because only a few percentage of the acid dissociate to form the, the positive and negative ion. Okay? Tandaan nyo yun, So, weak acid is everything that is not listed here. That's the basis. And remember, all acids is named as acid. Right? They don't call HCl hydrogen chloride. It's usually hydrochloric acid. Now, strong bases are also strong electrolytes. They undergo 100%. And again, what's the basis that we have for strong bases? 
if we know the strong basis, anything that is not on the list are what? Weak. So what are the strong bases? They are the soluble group 1A and 2A hydroxides. So all you need to do is you have the periodic table. And if it's the hydroxides of this group 1A and group 2A, most likely they are strong bases. And weak bases are anything that's not on the list. Now, how do we apply the conjugate acid base pair relationship here? Okay. So usually, if you have the conjugate base of a strong acid, yes, it has no measurable strength. Ano ibig sabihin dito? Kapag strong acid ka, yung conjugate mo, wala siyang strength. Kasi if you're going to look at the strong acid, what happened? It's just one direction. So wala siyang strength dito. Let's say you have HCl. So the Cl minus is your conjugate base. So it cannot go back during that time, that, that side. It doesn't have that strength. Okay, So you could say H3O plus is the strongest acid that can exist in AQ solution. Remember, when HCl dissociate in water, ano lang yung species na meron ka sa solution mo? Anyone? Do you still have HCl? Bracketing statement dito is H2O plus is the strongest acid. Why not HCl? Plus? Ano explanation nun? Let's go on the strong acid. Here. Yeah. Okay. Kasi kapag strong acid ka, when they when you dissociate in your solution, the only one that exists are the products. Right? And the products are either what? H3O plus or the conjugate base of the acid. So hindi na nag exist yung original acid. What exists now is the H3O plus. And that's the strongest acid. Claro ba yun? And then the same thing with the hydroxide, that the strongest base that can exist in aqueous solution because at the end, wala na yung mga group 1A or group 2A hydroxide. It dissociates completely to give you hydroxide and whatever group 1A or group 2A cation you have. Now, if you're going to look at the relationship between them, here. Yeah. So these are the acids. So if you have a strong acid, its conjugate base are what? Weak. If you have weak acid, its conjugate base are what we call strong. Parang nisa lang yun eh. Kung malakas ka sa, kung yung species mo ay malakas sa left side, pagdating sa right side, mas mahina siya. Or kung mahina ka, sa left side, yung right side mo ay malakas. Yun yung ibig sabihin nito. So, kung sobrang lakas ka to the point na one direction ka, wala talagang lakas yung counterpart mo. Yung conjugate acid mo or conjugate base. Now, if we're going to look at the molecular level or atomic level. So if you have a strong acid, this is what you see. So this is at the beginning and when you reach the equilibrium, it's either H plus or Cl minus. Wala kang nakikita ang HCl. But if you have a weak acid, kita mo yung weak acid mo, siya pa rin yung major species. Kasi hindi naman siya nag-dissociate only a, 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 a few percentage of it dissociate. Tanong. 
bago tayo magkaroon ng calculation ng strong acid, strong base, weak acid, at weak base. And then after nun, buffer na. And then we're done. <laughs> and there are already available, ano, yung short video ng acid and base. Y yung, yung equilibrium hindi ko pa nagagawa. But I tried to do it. Real life situation, uh, yung mga nangyayari every day. The dissolving of these coral reefs. Yung destruction ng mga structure because of acid rain. And some biological functions that we have. So let's try to solve now how to get the pH of a strong acid, strong base, and then weak acid, weak base. Question? So let's try to solve a strong acid problem. Now, a strong acid problem is straightforward what? pH equals to Negative log. H plus. Ganun din sa base. Kaso sa base, negative log OH minus. Okay? So if we're going to look at this, how do we solve this one? So if you have a nitric acid, what will happen to the nitric acid? It will dissociate to give you H3O plus, the water, and NO3 minus. So whatever you have here, 2 times 10 to the negative 3, that's a 1 to 1 ratio, right? So all you need to do is what? pH equals to negative log 2 times 10 to the negative 3. And what do you get? Anong sagot niyo? Two point seven. Two point seven. Okay. So again, uh, one significant figure. So one digit after the decimal point. In D three, okay. It's 2.7, clear? The number of significant figures of pH is the number after the decimal. Now, how about this one? So this is what we call a base, okay? So you're going to look at the barium hydroxide. Now, if you're going to look at barium hydroxide, when it dissociates, it forms barium 2H, barium 2 plus and 2 hydroxide. So if you have 1.8 times 10 to the negative 2, so 1.8 times 10 to the negative 2, and then 2 times 1.8 times 10 to the negative 2. So this is equals to 3.6 times 10 to the negative 2. So if you're going to get that, that's a POH negative log of 3.6 times 10 to the negative 2. And that is equals to what? Mm 
1.44. So this is, if you're going to look at this, that is equals to what? One point? 44. 44. And to get the pH is just 14 minus 1.44. So this is equals to 12.66 or 54? 56. 56. So Kaya? Before we go to the weak acid. Question. Then no. Now, weak acid, as I have told you, it doesn't undergo 100% dissociation. To a certain extent, it dissociates. That's why we have a system at equilibrium. So if you're going to look at it, either of the two reactions happen. Okay. Now, how do we determine the pH? Which species do we use to determine the pH here? Usually, either this or this one. Now, since it doesn't dissociate 100%, there is an equilibrium expression for it, okay? Since this is an acid, we call it the Ka. So the Ka is just equals to the product of the product over the reactor. And this Ka is known as the acid dissociation constant. So one way to know if you are a weak acid is if a Ka is given. What do you think is the Ka of strong acid? Anyone? So big, so small. Pag, uh, strong acid. Hmm? May nagsasalita, hindi ko lang marinig. What do you think is the Ka of strong acid? A big number or a small number? Okay, usually big to the point now you don't need to put the Ka. Because if you're going to look at the Ka value, that's just uh, a degree or a measure of strength among weak acid. So pag mas mataas yung Ka mo, mas strong yung weak acid mo. Pero pag strong acid ka, since one direction nang yun, okay, so ang taas nung products mo kaysa doon sa reactants, yung ratio niya. But for a weak acid, there's only a certain extent that you have. So if you're going to look at the value, ang liliit, di ba? So this is a way for you to determine which one is stronger. So if I ask you between uh, formic acid and ascorbic acid, which is stronger? Or maybe we could say between formic acid and acetic acid. Which one is stronger between the two? Anyone? Yung suka at yung acid na lumalabas sa kagat ng langgam. Rupus formus, red ant. Okay? So between the two, it's a formic acid. Now, you may also be asked, which is a stronger conjugate base? The, the, the formate or the acetate? So titignan mo ngayon yung KB ng dalawa. And how do you get the KB of these two? It's just KW over KA. Okay? Kasi KA times KB is equals to KW. So, yung kabaligtaran dito, since mas mataas yung KA nito, okay, mas mababa yung KB niya. So, mas uh, less ano siya, or weaker siya compared doon sa conjugate-based no? acetate. 
Ganyan yung pwede yung tanong sa inyo. Okay? So in terms of strength, the higher the Ka, the stronger is the weak acid. So how do we solve? How do we solve weak acid? So hindi mo pwedeng gawing negative log of H plus. Kung ano yung given na initial concentration. So you solve it similar to equilibrium problem. So mag-aano tayo ng rice equation. So HF okay, reacting in water to produce H plus and F minus. And then you have what? Initial concentration, 0.5 molar. Ito, ano yung initial concentration dito? Wala. And then dito, yung minus x. And then here is plus x, plus x. And then you have what? 0.5 minus x. And then you have your x and x. So ano pang kulang dito? Dapat given yung Ka value. And if you're going to look at the Ka value, uh, that's hydrogen fluoride, uh, hydrochloric acid, that's 7.1 times 10 to the negative 4. So we follow what we have learned from chemical equilibrium. So Ka is equal to H plus times F minus go, uh, divided by HF. So we have here what? X times X over 0.5 minus X. That was ilalagay natin yung 7.1 times 10 to the negative 4. Now, unlike the chemical equilibrium where you solve everything as a whole, here we can make an assumption. We can make an assumption that the X value is so small. So if you subtract it with 0.5, it's still almost like 0.5. Just imagine if you are like a billionaire, like Trump. If you lose one dollar, billionaire you kapa, kaparin. Yung nga lang tano billionaire yung talaga si Trump. Okay. So when you make that assumption, okay, what what will happen? So you have x squared equals to 7.1 times 10 to the negative four times. 0.5, kasi naging 0.5 na lang yung 0.5 minus x. And then, to get x, you just get the square root of that. So, ano yung x value? That x value is your h plus. And what would that be? What would that value be? Anyone? Ano na kuha niyo? Point? Zero one nine nine? Or point zero one nine? And then, you're going to get the pH. Tapos doon pa lang kayo mag uh, ano magsasara or mag round up. <coughs> so what is the pH? 1 point seventy two or Isa lang yung ano doon. 1.7. Now, this approximation or we could say thing is limited. It only works if you're uh, what we call 
fraction of ionization is less than 5%. So we have to get what's the uh, fraction of dissociation or percent dissociation. So percent dissociation is just equals to whatever is the H plus over the HA. Kapag dito, dito, tapos times 100. So what is the H plus? The H plus is 0 0.019 over 0.5. And then you multiply by 100. And that is equal to what? Anong percent ionization nito? Anyone? 3.8. So that means we can say this is the correct answer because the fraction, uh, the ionization is less than uh, what we call point, uh, 5 percent. Now, ano an problem kapag more than 5 percent? You have to do Kapag more than 5%, ano gagawin mo? You have to do the quadratic formula. <laughs> Yun yung ano doon. So the guide that you have, if you're solving a weak acid, uh, ionization problem or even weak-based ionization problem, you have to identify the major, major species that can affect pH. So it's either what? An H plus or if it's a base, an OH minus. And then in most cases, you ignore the auto ionization of water because the, the, the H plus will come from the weak acid or the weak base. So you ignore the OH because it is determined by H plus. And then you use the ice to express the equilibrium concentration in terms of single unknowns like what we did. And then we write Ka in terms of equilibrium concentration. So solve for x by the approximation method. The initial concentration minus x is just equal to initial concentration. Now, if the approximation is not valid, more than 5%, then you have to solve for x exactly. And then you can calculate the concentration of all species and not pH of the given solution. Let's try this. Ibang approach naman to. Ang approach nito ay ano? Yung, yung, ah, parang approach, 0.122. Okay? So, so let's try to solve this problem. So you have an HA. Producing what? H plus and OH, uh, A minus. So this is 0.122 nada minus X plus X plus X. So you have 0.122 minus X. You have X and then you have X. So KA over H plus times A minus over HA. So you saw you. you you place it and you have what? X, X over 1.122 minus X. And then the approximation that you have, that one. And what do you get? 5.7 times 10 to the negative 4 times 0.122 equals to X squared. So to get X, and the value of X more. Eight point three four bar. What's the x value? Okay, so I think much much clear on eight point three 
times 10 to the 3. Now, before, before you, what we call solve that, you, you, you still have to check the approximation of that. So 8.34, times 10 to the negative three divided by 0. 0.122 times 100, ilang percentage siya? Six point eight four. So, hindi nagbu work yun approximation. But let, let's try to get the pH for this one. And then pH na negative log of eight point three four times ten to the negative three. That is equals to a pH of what? Two point zero seven. Eight. Now, if you're going to solve the quadratic formula, what you get is around two point zero nine. To see the borderline that you have, if it's a little bit higher than 6.84. So ito yung makukuha mo. Ang makukuha mong x is really uh, around 8.1 times 10 to the negative 3. Kapag quadratic formula. Okay? So let's go to the last part. So meron na tayong strong acid, strong base, weak acid, weak base. Okay. So before we go to the last part, which is weak base. So if you're going to look at the percent ionization, as I've told you, that's just the ionized concentration. Yan yung H plus na na produce over the initial concentration times 100. So if you're going to look at that thing, if it's a strong acid, it's always what? 100%. Now, if it's a weak base, what can you say about the weak base? As it becomes diluted, ano nangyayari sa percent ionization? Na taas, na baba. that becomes more diluted, okay? Not the acid degree of ionization. Look, look at this one, right? Kailangan ka nagiging more diluted kapag bumababa yung initial concentration mo. Pag tumaas yung initial concentration, what becomes more concentrated, the percent ionization decreases. Gets? So the last part of the calculation is just the weak base. It's the same principle as the weak acid. Ang pagkakaiba lang ay you're looking for the hydroxide. And instead of a Ka, ang gagamitin mo ngayon ay Kb. So in a given reaction, okay, you should be able to tell if it's Ka or Kb. So Ka, if you have H plus Kb, you have hydroxide. Clear ba yun? And just like before, the higher the Kb, the stronger is the weak base. So you solve weak base problems like weak acid, except that you solve for OH minus instead of H plus. Well, I have a problem dito, but we can work on uh, one problem. Okay? So gagawa ako. 
uh, NH3 na ito, ang ilalagay natin is 0.40 initially. And then KB is equals to 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. So ano ngayon yung pH? So kapag nangyari yan, so KB is just equals to what? X times X over 0.40 minus X equals to 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5, right? So that's equals to 0.4. So you have what? X squared equals to 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 times 0.40. Tapos, square root mo yun to get x. So, what is x equals to? Two point sixty eight times ten to the negative three. So, ano yung corresponding POH to one? Because x here is equals to your hydroxide. So, you say it's two point sixty eight times ten to the negative three. So, ano corresponding POH nya at ano corresponding pH? Two point fifty seven, but oh, so from that, this will now become eleven point four. is around 11.4. Kasi yung binigay naman sa inyo is point, uh, point 0.40. So 11.43. So tanong, you can do the approximation if it's not less than 5%. Then this is what we call use the quadratic formula or quadratic equation. So question, before we go to the last part of the session that we have today, which is buffer. Now the approximation method na meron kayo, so whatever your initial concentration minus the value of X is just equals to the initial concentration with the assumption that the X amount is so small to have an effect on the initial concentration. Now, the, 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 the limit there is, if you can only use this, if there is less than 5% dissociation, if it's more than, then you have what to use. You have to use the value of 0.40 minus X. You have to solve it using the quadratic formula. Now, the last part that we will have is what we call the buffer. So, the buffer natin, we could say it's just a continuation or an application of a common ion effect 
na inano natin sa equilibrium you know the presence of the common ion is what going to shift the equilibrium so if you have reactant and then you have produce some products so if there are some other ions that you have here that you add to the product it's going to push the reaction uh, backward so give you common ion effect Ship in equilibrium caused by addition of compound having an ion in common with the dissolved substance. Now, the presence of a common ion suppresses the ionization of a weak acid or weak base. Okay? And let's say you have a mixture of sodium acetate and acetic acid. So what happened with them? Ano yung common ion sa kanila? Yung acetic acid. So if you have an acetic acid system at merong ibang source yung acetate mo, so this one will push the reaction backward. Okay? Kasi meron kang presence ng common ion. There's another source of your what we call ion. Now, if you're going to consider them, if you have a mixture of the salt and the weak acid, so as you could see here, an in common ion nila, yung A minus, which is in this case, the example earlier na acetate, acetate ion. So if you're going to what we could get the relationship that you have there, so it's in Ka, di ba? So you have H plus A minus over HA. Now, as you could see, your A minus would come from two sources. So how are we going to get the H plus? Paano natin iaano yung H plus? So one side. So we multiply both sides by HA over A minus. Right? And what when that happened, cancel to, so you will have a relationship like this. Right? Now, what if we're going to do if we're going to get the log of everything here? So that's the log of H plus equals to the log of Ka okay, minus the log of HA over A minus. So ano yung log of H plus? Anyone? That is equivalent to what? Negative log of H plus, that is your pH. Now, what is the negative log of Ka? We could say that's your pKa. Okay. Hindi siya 14. 14 siya kapag pKa, uh, pH plus pOH. But negative lag, so kung ano lang yung negative lag, pero Ka instead of H plus. So ilagay mo lang yung P. Parang negative lag OH. That's pOH, right? Much better? Clear? Now this one will remain as that. Now what can you say about the two? Which is the acidic form and the basic form here? So if I'm going to rearrange this one, pH equals to pKa plus log. Tina niyo ano ginawa ko ha? I think I have. Yan yung tinatawag natin. henderson Hazelback equation. Now, anong ginawa ko dito? What did I do? Okay. Binaligtad ko siya. Nung binaligtad ko siya, anong nangyayari sa sign dito? Naging positive. Right? Kaya siya naging positive kasi ito nilagay ko doon, tapos ito nilagay ko dito. And that is one of the most useful equation in chemistry. Yung tinatawag na henderson Hazelback equation. And if you're going to look at this, this is just what? This is the conjugate base. And this is the acid, right? A minus is the conjugate base of the acid. 
na wala daw calculation, yun yung sabi nila. But I'm still going to prepare you for that. Okay? So the, the, the example that we had just used, one specific example that we have in an acid-base system is a buffer solution. So a buffer solution is made up of what? A weak acid or a weak base and the salt of the weak acid or the weak base. Or we could say a weak acid and its conjugate base na manggagaling sa salt or a weak base and its conjugate acid na manggagaling sa salt. Remember a specific example? Okay. Yung acetic acid. So anong uh, conjugate base ng acetic acid? Anyone? Acetate po. So if we're going to look at this, we have what? Acetic acid. And then the conjugate of that is acetate. Where does the acetate come from? A salt. Okay. So whenever we have a buffer solution, it resists drastic change in pH upon addition of an acid or a base. So if you have this equal molar of acetic acid and acetate ion, so ito yung mechanism nila. Kapag nag-add ka ng acid, ang mag a doon ay acetate to produce acetic acid. Now, kapag nag-add ay ang uh, base, ang mag-re-react doon is acetic acid to produce acetate ion and H2O. So in both cases, there's no H plus or OH minus that is formed. So if you're going to look at specific example here, like the presence of HCl, so ang mangyari doon, yung H plus na mag-produce, it mag -re react doon yung acetate ion to produce acetic acid and chloride, the pH will not change. So if you have a buffer sol solution, the pH will be consistent. But if there's no buffer there, kapag nag-form yung H plus at Cl minus, bababa yung pH mo. So which do you think are the, which of the following do you think are the buffer system? So ito yung pwedeng mga tanong sa inyo. Is A a buffer system? Yes or no? Say a buffer? You have to go back to the definition of a weak acid and a weak base. So what do you have there? You have an HF as a weak acid, so it is a buffer. Is B a buffer? All you need to know is to know if the acid is strong or weak. If it's strong, then it's not a buffer. HBr is one of the strong acid, so it's not a buffer. Okay, and, and this one, if you're going to look at this, all of them will come from salt. But as you could see, HCO3 uh, minus, that is a, 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 an acid, and its conjugate base is CO3 2 minus. Okay, it, it's what we call a weak base. So it is a buffer. Okay? Now, if we have a calculation problem, usually ganito lang. Uh, ang anoin lang natin yung, yung first part lang. Wag, wag na yung kasunod. Kasi wala daw calculation eh. So what do we use here? We're going to use the henderson Hazelback equation. So the, the, there's something that is missing here. Okay, the Ka or the pKa of the NH4 plus. So I, I can give you the pKa as 9.25. So you just use your pH equals to pKa plus log base over the acid. So all you need to identify, alin dito yung acid, alin dyan yung base. So 9.25 plus log, so alin, saan ang point 0.3, saan yung point 0.36? So alin ang point dito? So, alin yung base dyan sa dalawang yan? 
0.36. Hmm? So you have here an NH3N and NH4 plus. So usually an acid is 1H more. So you have here a 0.30 and a 0.36. So ano yung pH mo? Anyone? So you have here 9.17. Example lang yan. Kasi ang sabi daw walang calculation. So that's N. Uh, the second part of the module. Now, next meeting, we will conclude with solubility. Tapos isusunod na natin if we're going to look at the next portion na, na, na meron tayo. So we're done with the acid base. And I, I still suggest you do this thing. Now, I would say next meeting lagi yung quiz natin because nagahabol tayo. Eh. We just try to work on this one because by next meeting we should be starting based on the sked yung redox at electrochem so i'll finish with the solubility and then i introduce maybe oxidation number but if you're going to look at december 9 we will have another lecture exam So question. So most likely your weekend will be a busy weekend. Ano gusto niyo quiz? Eh, 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 equilibrium muna or gusto niyo acid and base? Ano unang quiz gusto niyo? Most likely it will be next meeting. Pero ngayon, lagi naghahabol tayo eh, kasi gahol tayo sa oras. I'm trying to simplify the lecture because uh, in my, yung sa long hour lecture ko, talagang mas mahaba pa dito yung lecture ko. So we'll do equilibrium and maybe by the weekend we do uh, what we call acid base. Okay? But we will proceed with what we have. So ang ano ko lang, Kapag napansin ko, konti kayo at the beginning, ibibigay ko yung quiz agad. <laughs> okay? So I uh, I have to go kasi almost 10.30 na eh, may kasunod pa akong lecture. Okay? I will make this thing available as soon as possible.